peoples of the universe. Sing to the Lord with cheerful voice. In loudly praise and gladly serve. Into His presence come with song. Know that the Lord is God indeed. He made us, we belong to Him. We all are not His people. Are. The flock He tends, the sheep we are. My dear brothers and sisters, we offer this Mass for the repose of the soul of Sister Fatima Disa of the Congregation of the Pious Disciples of the Divine Master and part of the Pauline family. She passed away on last Tuesday, the 18th of May. We pray that the angels carry her to her heavenly abode and that she beholds the face of our Heavenly Father forever with eternal life. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and, and you, you, my brothers and, brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. A God who, by the glorification of your Christ, and the light of the Holy Spirit have unlocked for us the gates of eternity. Grant, we pray, that partaking of so great a gift, our devotion may grow deeper and our faith may be strengthened. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. In those days, Akriba, the king, and Bernice arrived at Caesarea and greeted Festus. And as they stayed there many days, Festus laid Paul's case before the king, saying, There is a man left prisoner by Felix. And when I was at Jerusalem, the chief priests and the elders of the Jews laid out their case against him, asking for a sentence of condemnation against him. I answered them that it was not the custom of the Romans to give up anyone before the accused met the accusers face to face and had opportunity to make his defense concerning the charge laid against him. So when they came together here, I made no delay, but on the next day took my seat on the tribunal and ordered the man to be brought. 
when the accusers stood up they brought no charge in his case of such evils as i supposed rather they had certain points of dispute with him about their own religion and about a certain jesus who was dead but whom paul asserted to be alive being at a loss how to investigate these questions i asked whether he wanted to go to jerusalem and be tried there regarding them but when paul had appealed to be kept in custody for the decision of the emperor i ordered him to be held until i could send him to caesar the word of the lord thanks to be to god, god. Psalm of response The Lord has fixed his throne in heaven The Lord, Lord has fixed his throne in heaven Bless the Lord O my soul and all within me his holy name Bless the Lord O my soul and never forget all his benefits response The Lord, the Lord has fixed his, fixed his throne in, in heaven For as the heavens are high above the earth so strong is mercy for those who fear him as far as the east is from the west so far from us does he remove our transgressions response the lord, the lord has, has fixed his throne in heaven. heaven the lord has fixed his throne in heaven and his kingdom is ruling over all Bless the Lord all you his angels mighty in power fulfilling his word response the, the Lord, Lord has fixed his throne, throne in, in heaven acclamation alleluia 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 praise be the Lord the holy spirit will teach you all things and bring to your remembrance all that i have said to you alleluia 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 praise be the lord the lord be with you and with your spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to john Glory to you, O Lord. When Jesus had revealed himself to his disciples and they had finished the breakfast, Jesus said to Simon Peter, Simon, son of John, do you love me more than these? He said to him, Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. He said to him, Feed my lambs. He said to him a second time Simon son of John do you love me He said to him yes lord you know that i love you He said to him tend my sheep He said to him the third time Simon son of John do you love me Peter was grieved because he said to him the third time do you love me and he said to him lord you know everything you know that i love you jesus said to him feed my sheep truly truly i say to you when you were young you used to dress yourself and walk wherever you wanted but when you are old you will stretch out your hands and another will dress you and carry you where you do not want to go this he said to show by what kind of death he was to glorify god and after saying this he said to him follow me the gospel of the lord praise to you lord jesus christ
Jesus asked Simon a third time, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Jesus was going to appoint Simon as the leader of the group. And the only qualification that is required of Simon to be the leader of the group is the virtue of love. Loving Christ, loving Christ unconditionally. Why love? Why not other qualifications? Why not other virtues? Now, Peter was not going to rule and control the flock of Christ. Peter was going to feed and tend the flock of Christ. To rule and control, you may require other qualifications, but to feed and tend, you need only love. Loving Christ is loving Christ's flock. Serving Christ is serving Christ's flock. The leader of the group of Christ, the flock of Christ, is to be the servant of the servants, to be a person of love. And therefore, the only qualification needed of a leader of the flock of Christ is love. Love for Christ and love for the flock of Christ. There is a second reason why Jesus asked Simon the same question three times. Simon had denied Christ three times previously. And now that Christ is risen and is with him, Simon is weighed down by guilt. He is tense. He is worried. He is full of remorse. Simon needs healing. And this healing can be achieved only by the love of Christ. And to experience that love of Christ, Simon has to profess that love. And therefore, the triple denials of Simon are canceled by the triple profession of his love for Christ. And thus, Simon experiences the total healing. Jesus gives him that total healing and forgiveness. My dear sisters and brothers, it tells us that no matter how grave our sins are, no matter how weak we are, no matter how foolish and stupid we are in denying Christ through our sins, Christ can still heal us. We can still experience that total healing and the fullness of joy in being a disciple of Christ. Let us today, as we continue with this Eucharistic celebration, pray for this grace of total healing of our body, our soul, and our spirit. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever.
Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look mercifully, O Lord, we pray, upon the sacrificial gifts of your people, and that they may become acceptable to you. Let the coming of the Holy Spirit Cleanse our consciences through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with Amen. your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For after his resurrection, he plainly appeared to all his disciples and was taken up to heaven in their sight, that he might make us sharers in his divinity. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic house, sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you now the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and El Puto, our Bishop, 
and all the clergy. Remember your servant sister, Fatima Lisa, whom you have called from this world yourself. Grant that she who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with Saint Paul and all the blessed apostles and saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, our God Almighty Father, the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name, thy, thy kingdom come, thy, thy will be done, be done on earth as, as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit, let us know for each other a sign of peace. Lamb of, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. When the Spirit of Truth comes, He will teach you all the truths, says the Lord. Alleluia.
Let us pray. A God, by whose mysteries we are cleansed and nourished, grant, we pray, that this banquet which you give us may bring everlasting gifts. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. This is my will. That